You're watching 41 Action News. Good morning, I'm 41 Action News anchor Taylor Hymnus. We are still learning more about gunshots exchanged between a Jackson County Sheriff's Office deputy and a suspect. It happened around 11 o'clock last night near North Perrin and Blue Mills Road. Jackson County Sheriff Daryl Forte says the deputy was not hurt. The suspect, we're told, is in the hospital. And today we hope to learn more details about the Overland Park officer shot and killed in the line of duty on Sunday. We're still waiting on the police report from Overland Park PD detailing what exactly led up to Officer Michael Mosier's death. Police have identified 38 year old Philip Carney as the suspect that Mosier confronted in a shootout that killed them both. Police say Mosier saw Carney in a hit and run Sunday evening and followed him in his personal car while wearing his uniform. A group of investigators in Johnson County are still working together to piece together those moments before the shooting. Price chopper stores across the area are going to start accepting donations today to support Mosier's family during this time. They'll be collected until May 25th. Tomorrow, non-essential businesses like retail stores and hair salons in Kansas City, Missouri can reopen for the first time in weeks. Workers must wear masks and maintain social distancing. On May 15th, the rest of the city will open under the city's 10-10-10 rule. That is limiting the number of people on site to 10% of the building's capacity or 10 people, whichever is larger. Businesses who serve anyone for longer than 10 minutes must record the contact information for those individuals. Here's Lindsay Anderson with your forecast. Temperatures today will stay well below average. We're only getting in the middle and upper 60s today, but luckily with more sunshine through the afternoon. Remember, it is going to be quite windy today as well with our breezes out of the northwest and wind gusts that could get up to 30 or 35 miles per hour. We'll have to monitor tonight for a chance for rainfall that moves in after midnight, but should be out by sunrise tomorrow. So the rest of the day tomorrow will be dry.